英語会話。Hello everyone, welcome back to our English conversation program. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. Nothing gives me more pleasure than being with you again to present to the coffee break. I hope you enjoy it. Here with me in the studio are Sue Wanwick and Michael Barkley. Let's have fun talking over a cup of coffee. Every year begins with the greeting "Happy New Year" in both America and England, and with its Japanese counterpart in Japan. But an interesting thing about the New Year greeting is that "Happy New Year" is not synonymous or interchangeable with its Japanese equivalent in terms of the way it is used. Well, I always thought that、uh, the Japanese I had learned was "Happy New Year," and I would think it'd be the same in any language.、Mm. Do you mean to say that "Akemashite Omedetou Gozaimas" does not correspond to "Happy New Year"? No, it doesn't.、Oh. Well, sounds like we are six months ahead of time, though.、Uh, anyway, the difference is that the English greeting is、uh, heard before the coming of、uh, January the first, but the Japanese、uh, one can. Only be used when the、uh, new year arrived. So it's very strange to hear some、uh, foreigners uh, mistakenly uh, using it before January first. Oh dear.、Right. Yeah. yeah, I think that accounts for some of the strange looks I've gotten yes, before. Yes, me too. <laughs> I guess we're going to be talking about、uh, seasonal greetings,、uh, starting with a Happy New Year,、mm -hmm. and、uh, and then go on to some of the other occasions and customs related to them.、Um, one thing that.、Uh, It strikes me,、um, especially just、uh, as summer has ended, is the ex the exchange of the summer greeting cards and even gifts here in Japan. We don't have that custom, do you, in England? No, we don't either. Actually, it was a bit of a surprise to me. I suppose it's because the British summer isn't quite so oppressive as the the heat of Japan. <laughs> oh well, then I'd probably like it. Why don't you tell us more what it's like? Well, I, the British summer is notorious for being very changeable, and you can never. Be quite sure what's going to happen, but usually it's quite warm without being humid,、mm -hmm. and it's the days are longer and it's the school summer holidays, so everybody's trying to be happy and they get out into the parks and have picnics and that kind of thing. But anyway, what does、um, shochu mimai literally mean? I gather it's not a drink. <laughs> not at all. Well, it means to inquire after a person's health in the hot season.、Uh, literally, that's what it means. And、uh, but I wonder. If there are any seasonal cards or letters, say you exchange in Britain or America, then just as we exchange our summer cards, as it were. Well, the biggest one is、um, the exchange of Christmas cards in December. That's the main one. We also give Valentines, and some people give Easter cards, but、um, not nearly as many.、Mm. And another quite important one is to swap birthday cards.、Mm -hmm. Um, so you have to. It's a bit difficult. You have to remember when someone's birthday is and send them a birthday card.、Mm -hmm. Do you do that in the states too, Sue? Yes, and it is awfully hard to remember everybody's birthday. And, and if you forget their birthday and they sent you a, a birthday card, it can be a little、mm. awkward. So many people keep a birthday book, and that is a special diary or notebook that's nothing but a lot of slots with dates, and you write down the birthdays of anyone that you know. Um, in the appropriate slot, so that you won't forget that person's birthday. But you have to remember to look at the book. That's my problem. <laughs> But it strikes me that、uh, in Britain and perhaps in the States too, we send a, a larger variety of social cards. There's almost any occasion、mm -hmm. you can send a card, particularly if people are ill.、Mm -hmm. We send a "Get well soon" card, and congratulations, particularly for exams, for passing a driving test. For having babies, getting married, anything where congratulations are due, then、uh, anniversary, when people remember the day they got married, then other people tend to. Only close friends usually send、uh, an anniversary card. Any more, Sue? Well, of course, there's Mother's Day and Father's Day.、Um, not only your mother and father, but grandparents, even aunts and uncles, or husbands and wives, get these cards. Sometimes, if a person has moved. We have a thing called a miss you card.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. And in February, on the fourteenth, as I'm sure everybody knows, Valentine's Day. That's right. 
、えー、今日はスイーズの・グリーティングスということで季節の折々に交わされます挨拶ですねあるいはそれに関連をしました習慣そういったことについてお話をしておりますがまず、えー毎年明けましておめでとうございますという、まあ挨拶で、えー、年が明けるわけですけれども、このハッピーニューイヤーという言葉は、英語ではその新年が来る前に、もう12月の末ですね、にすでに、えー、I wish you a happy new year という挨拶が交わされますが、日本語の場合には明けましておめでとうございますというのは、やはりお正月が来てから使われる表現ですから、えー、その辺の違いにまずご注意ください。つまり英語はあお正月の前に使えます、ハッピーニューイヤー。ところが日本語は使えません。そういういことですね、えー、それからまあそれ以外に日本では初中見舞い夏にはそういうカードをお互いに交換しますけれども外国ではそういう習慣はなさそうですそして、まあえー、クリスマスカードで代表されるわけですがそれ以外にはもう誕生日のカードですねそれからそれ以外にもいろんなあソーシャルケージョンズというふうな言葉が聞かれましたがあ日常の生活の中でですね例えば病気のお見舞いであるとかいろんなお祝いであるとかあるいは時には、えー、恋人に対する、えー、そのカードであるとかあるいは父の日母の日あるいは、えー、結婚記念日あるいは誰かが、えー、よそに引っ越しをしたりあるいは主張した時に寂しいからということでその「I miss you」というそういう気持ちを込めて、まあ、送るカードといいますかそういったいろんなあーカードをーね、well, since we began to talk about the greeting Happy New Year, I'd like to find out if there are some more greetings which begin with the term happy.、Mm, yes, you can say happy almost for anything. Happy Christmas, happy Valentine's, of course, happy birthday, and also happy anniversary. As we just mentioned, it's, that's when、uh, it's a wedding anniversary.、Mm-hmm. The only exception in America is that we usually don't say Happy Christmas but Merry Christmas, but the others、um, that you mentioned we use.、Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Happy Thanksgiving or Happy Easter.、Mm-hmm. And on other occasions when、uh, congratulations are due,、uh, such as say, marriages or babies' births,、mm-hmm. graduations, promotions,、uh, and so on and so forth, how do you greet each other and what do you customarily do? Mm. Quite often we just say congratulations, and if you know someone quite well, perhaps throw your arms around them and、mm. have a drink.、Mm-hmm. Um, graduation is almost regarded as a seasonal event because it's always in June,、mm-hmm. and it's quite a fun occasion because it it's marks the end of your student days,、um, which may be a good thing. Or, but I thought it was a rather sad day actually. But on the other hand, it's, it's great fun, it's always in the summer. And you dress up in these extraordinary clothes which you would never dream of wearing any other、mm-hmm. day. And then there's the usually quite a formal ceremony, perhaps with some Latin bits. But then afterwards is the time for congratulations and having a drink and relaxing and enjoying the day.、Mm-hmm. Presumably it's the same in the States, too? Yes,、um, traditionally we wear、um, an academic gown and a, a mortar board cap, which you've probably seen a picture of those flat topped. Caps.、Mm. Incidentally, when you congratulate somebody in written form, for example, in a letter or on a card,、uh, you should say, Congratulations on your wedding anniversary or Congratulations on your graduation or the birth of your child or whatever.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so, that's it. まあ、それ以外のつまり、えー、おのどの季節のお,お祝いとか季節のお,お料理の挨拶以外にですね、えー、一般的にはおめでとうという場合にはこの「Congratulations」という言葉が使われますそしてこの「Congratulations」という言葉の後には「On 何々」あるいは「Congratulations upon」「On か「Pon」が来るということですねこれも特に、えー、そういうお祝いの言葉を実際に文字に書いた時に、えー、気をつけましょうというお話がありましたそれから「Happy」という言葉で始まる挨拶、まあ、ちなみに、えー、考えてみますとイギリスでは「ハッピークリスマス」「ハッピーバレンタイン」それから「ハッピーアニバーサリー」えー、それから「ハッピーユースター」それからアメリカでは「ハッピーサンクスギビング」ですねでアメリカの場合には「メリークリスマス」というのは普通で「ハッピークリスマス」という挨拶はありませんがイギリスの場合は「ハッピークリスマス」も聞かれますそれからもちろん「ハッピーバースデー」ですね、えー、そういった言葉がおのおののお場面場合に使われる挨拶の言葉ですね。Uh, when a couple have a baby, then what do their friends or relatives do to celebrate the occasion, and what sort of greetings do they exchange? 
Well, commonly, um, the close friends and the relatives might visit um, the baby and the mother in the hospital. Um, although, I think nowadays, most um, new mothers and babies stay only one or two days in the hospital. Mm. You can also visit in the home. And an American custom we have is that the father passes out cigars to his men friends. Oh. Uh, this is maybe not quite as common as it used to be because not so many people smoke, but there are little novelties such as ballpoint pens and uh, mm -hmm. things like that that he can distribute now. Mm -hmm. What about in England? Well, I'm not familiar with this passing around of cigars, mm -hmm. but what's very common is sending, or if possible, taking flowers mm -hmm. to the mother and the child, and of course sending a card as well. Congratulations. えー、それから子供が生まれた時、まあ、アメリカの習慣ではお父さんが友達にシガーズでタバコを配るというそういう習慣がありますねそれからイギリスの場合に、まあ、これもアメリカもそうですけれどもお母さんにはやはり花を送るとそれからその場合の挨拶もやはり Congratulations という言葉ですね And just one other thing,、uh, we mentioned earlier the exchanging of summer cards or shochu mimai and although it's not Such a common practice、uh, in Japan, but some people write in the middle of the winter, Kanchu Mimai, which is a letter of inquiry after a person's health at the coldest time of the year. And I doubt if you have the same practice. No, no, that's very interesting. I didn't know that.、Mm. And、uh, are there any other interesting customs or greetings in, in your countries? Say on Halloween, what about、uh, the sort of thing kids、uh, come round and say? Well, children say trick or treat, but that's、mm. really not a greeting. It's just what you say at the door when you ask for candy. If you want to greet somebody, you might say Happy Halloween.、Mm -hmm. What about in England?、Uh, You would have a corresponding uh, practice、yes. uh, for asking Penny for the guy. That's right. Just、uh, uh, before Guy Fawkes Day on no November the 5th,、mm -hmm. asking for money, give me a penny for the guy.、Mm -hmm. But again, that's not a greeting, that's just、uh, demanding money. <laughs> okay, Michael, can you tell us a bit more about Guy Fawkes Day? Well, I'll try.、Uh, Guy Fawkes is the name of a man. He was a historical character.、Mm -hmm. I think he was around the beginning of the 17th century. And he had this thing called a gunpowder plot,、mm -hmm. which was his plan to blow up the Houses of Parliament and to kill the king and his ministers. But luckily, he was discovered and they put him to death. And the way they did this was to put him on the top of a big bonfire. So nowadays, children make a, a model they make out of straw and、mm -hmm. put clothes on him. And around November the 5th, they make this model and wheel him around and ask for a penny, and then they burn him. It's gruesome.、Mm, that's, that's very interesting. <laughs> okay, apart from uh, these, uh, not really greetings, but、um, what about、uh, some of the things we say、uh, on other occasions、uh, in everyday life? Well, maybe just before we go on a vacation, and、mm -hmm. vacations tend to fall at certain periods of the year, we can say, Have a nice vacation, or have a nice holiday,、mm -hmm. or have a nice trip.、Mm -hmm, that's right. And I think every Friday, actually, we usually say to each other, have a good weekend, because、mm. the weekend is such an important thing.、Mm -hmm. And usually you should answer that by saying, same to you, or you too. And if it's a trip where you can't say you too because the other person isn't going on a trip, then just thank them. And what about saying,、uh, good luck? Good luck,、uh, particularly before an exam or a, a A sports event, something where you know it could go well or it could go badly. Well, everyone, this concludes all the programs for the first half of this year, and this also marks the end of well over 13 years of my service for NHK. And thank you very much for your faithful listening. I hope you'll keep up your enthusiasm. Goodbye till we meet again. It's been a pleasure to work with you, Mr. Togo. Bye, everybody. It certainly has. And it's farewell for me, too, as I'm going back to England. So thank you very much, everybody. Goodbye. Tanto wa Togo Katsuaki Sensei. O aite wa Sue Wan Wig san to Michael Barclay san deshita. Ego kaiwa o o a r i m a s u